So it finally became time for me to go ahead and subscribe to an eBay store. The way I made that decision was I just kept listing items until I got up to really close to the 250 free listings and then decided, okay, well, I'm going to be listing more because I've got a lot more stuff in there to list. Uh, so I went ahead and looked at all the subscriptions. Now you'll notice they have several different subscriptions to choose from. The one I decided to go with was the basic store. Now the reason I went with the basic store is because it has a thousand free listings a month, but the more important thing is it lowers the um, final value fees. That was uh, important to me to, to start getting those final value fees lowered. But here's what I learned the hard way. Not really the hard way because it's no big deal, but it is something you should know and that's the reason I'm making this video. Any listings that you already have on eBay that are currently active, it will not lower the final value fee of those listings. I set up my store, uh, went through, made all the uh, changes, the banners, the logos, all that stuff, and then started selling items. And I noticed my final value fees were still 12.9%. Well, I contacted eBay and I asked them why it was 12.9%. And the lady was really nice in the chat, but she didn't explain to me what I needed to know. All she did was say, you know, sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to put in a ticket to get that corrected for you. And sure enough, eBay uh, refunded me some money, which I couldn't really believe because I wasn't asking for a refund or a fix. I was asking why. So thank you, eBay, for doing that. But anyway... Then I kind of thought, well, maybe she's fixed it. So then I had some more sales, and they were still 12.9% final value fees. So I contacted the chat again, and this time got a different person, of course. And this time this person explained to me what the deal is. Anything that's already been listed under the 250 free items that you get to list each month, they don't count towards the new final value fees. It's only the new items that you start putting in after you've purchased your store, after you've made a subscription, that the fees are lowered on. Now, that being said, she did tell me, which I'm still not convinced that I understood her or she understood me, but she did say that as your items renew, you know how they go through that 30-day uh, renewal process, and then at the end of 30 days, they relist themselves then they will become part of the store and the final value fees will be lowered on them, okay? That's the way I understood her to say it. Now, I could be wrong about that. So now you've got a decision to make. If you're gonna go ahead and upgrade to a store, which congratulations, first of all, for upgrading to a store, you gotta take into consideration all the listings you had. I had almost 250 listings. You gotta make up your mind of whether you're gonna go through all 250 listings and, and delist them and then go back and make a brand new listing for them so they fall into the new final value fee, or if you're just gonna let them sit there and just renew themselves. I have chosen just to let them sit there and renew themselves. It's not worth the, uh, you know, the 9%, 0.09, or what is it, 0.009%. It's less than 1%. <laughs> it's not worth that to me to take my time and sit there and relist everything when I've got so much new stuff that I can be listing. I can tell you for sure that I've had some items sell now that were listed after uh, I subscribed to the store and uh, they do have the new final value fees. So I'm very excited about that. It's very worth it for me to have those less than the final value fees. That means I can sell my items for just a little bit less or I make just a little bit more profit either way, either way you want to look at it. So I thought I'd make this quick video. This is something you may or may not have known already. Uh, if you didn't, I hope it helped you. If it did help you, hey, click that thumbs up button down there and uh, let YouTube know that you liked the video and got some value out of it. Also, if you're not a subscriber, I am trying my best to hit 1,000 subs. As you can see, I may or may not have already hit 1,000 subs, but at the time of recording this video, I'm only at 981. So I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs, so if you would, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell so you get each and every video notification when I, when I put a new video up uh, that may be important information, may just be a fun video, may be what I've sold, uh, it may be helpful, 
uh, who knows what kind of videos I'll end up creating. But uh, it'll all be about eBay and it'll all be about reselling and thrifting and finding deals and, and, and making money. So uh, be sure you hit that little bell so you're notified each and every time I make a video. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of you all. Uh, I love you all so much. Um, I still can't believe that I've got 981 people uh, or whatever I've got at the time you're watching this video uh, that are that is watching me. I'm just a country boy from North Carolina, if you couldn't tell from the accent. And uh, But I try to create good content. Uh, it may not be the most exciting in the world, but hopefully it'll be informative uh, each and every time. So listen, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking this video. And until next time, I'll see you on the flip side.